Hello, Bitwig certified end user and professional DJ, Vic Vapor with you, and welcome to my Bitwig Studio 2.3 course. Before we get started, I just want to say if it's the first time you're visiting the Martini Lounge channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell and we'll see you inside. Okay, so we've made a lot of progress. Hopefully you've been learning a lot. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me throughout the uh, series of tutorials. I don't know if you've skipped around, but I tried to kind of put them where they made sense as far as how we were learning and, and tear them up for us. But I'm going to pretty much wrap up this uh, Bitwig Studio 2.3, kind of uh, getting started, um, you know, helping the beginners and helping people transition, uh, whatever, haven't really come up with a title yet. But I'm going to wrap it up with something pretty straightforward. And we're just going to look at arranging scenes in a way that we've got like a basic a sketch or an outline of a track and then uh you know looking at what that looks like when we record it over to the arranger we did a little bit of that earlier but i just want to do kind of one more run through and uh let you guys um kind of see the process here so we've got quite a bit of uh content i think we need to add a synth though let me unsolo this and hear what we've got I'm going to delete that second loop. Oh, you know what? I had them both selected. Maybe that's a good mistake to see happen. So I uh, deleted that by accident. So Command Z brings everybody back. But what had happened there is I forgot that I had them both selected. So I just want that guy to disappear. So let's go back and launch this whole scene. All right. Got an idea what we need to do. So I'm going to delete audio two we no longer needed that that's the one we sliced over to the drum machine so And again, this is a very basic uh, loop that we've developed here. It's nothing that I'm throwing my hands up expecting trophies for. It's uh, extremely basic. Ooh, and we don't need that. So let's bring that up a little bit. All right. So let's go get a synth. And I'm thinking just a, like a, not a MIDI synth, but I'll just get a loop. So we'll right click, add audio track. And again, we'll highlight this guy, hit B. And we'll go hunt down some synth sounds. Let's see here. It's got to be something. Uh, where were those loops? Prime loops. Prime loops, deep teaser. Vocals, neon future synths. Open this guy up. Uh, let's get something with a little bit better BPM than that. Sound like a nursery rhyme. I'm just gonna take that one. It may not be exactly what I'm looking for, but just need a synth to add in here. And we're not gonna start out, we're talking about arranging. We're not gonna start out with a synth right off the bat. Um, it's probably gonna come in a little bit later. So I'll grab it, drag and drop it down here around scene four for now. Um, we do want some drum sounds going. I don't think I need this clip anymore. So if we want to duplicate, remember we can go over here and just hit duplicate once our clip is selected. Um, these guys, the bass, I'm going to bring it in over here somewhere. I'm going to unarm this track for now. This I can bring in here. And this right here. So I need to make sure all these elements work together. So we'll need to keep duplicating this at least one more time there. We'll duplicate the bass one more time. We'll duplicate this. This guy duplicated, and that way you see progressively the sounds get introduced. And typically you would put some sort of transition between an introduction of one sound to the other or when there's a change in the song. But I'm not gonna get into transitions. This is just very basic layout stuff. Now we can name these scenes. You know, if we wanna have these things named, we can highlight the scene and name the scene right here or we can just command r and name it from our keyboard and i'll just name this intro 
And the next one will be, say, like a command R, we'll say, like, verse one. You know, um, uh, chorus. And then main. Oop. Command R, main. So there you got your scenes. Now you don't, you can, you can name the clips. You can name, you know, the channels, you can name everything. You can organize it, and I suggest you get in the habit of doing that as best as possible because it helps a lot with your workflow down the road as the project grows. So let's kind of go from here and just launch through these. But before I start launching it as a track, let's get this guy activated again here and look at our timeline. So we don't necessarily need this in here anymore, so I'll highlight over it and just hit delete so that it's gone. We have a blank canvas to work with. So let me move this back a little bit. And there's our last scene. So we'll just record these as they play through, and then we'll go over to here. And that'll pretty much uh, be the end of um, Bitwig Studio 2.3, kind of learning the basics, getting started, whatever I want to call it. But I'm just showing you how it works to get, uh, get you up and running. All right, so let's uh, hit the record button. And we'll launch our first scene. Now it's just up to me the time frame and when I want the next one to launch. So I'll go ahead and hit stop. That'll stop everything. And again, we're not going to hear these until we hit this little guy up here. And now we've activated our arranger area. So one of the last things that I want to share with you is, you know, they each one of these clips were introduced according to the volume that we'd set on our mix levels or our channel levels. But we can actually automate those volumes to make them smoother transitions. And obviously, one of the ways we can do that is through automation. So let's um, let's take a look at that. So automation, when you're in there, the arranger view are these lines down here the, in below each channel. There's a series of lines. So this guy's okay. The first one in is the drum machine. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then once we hit that, we have anything that's on this channel is available for us to write in automation. So we don't have a lot currently. I'm just gonna work under the mixer and under volume. But you can see that there are plenty other parameters here to work with, depending on what's on the channel. But we're just going to focus on volume. So once I have that, I'm going to go up here and make the magnifying glass up here, kind of dial this in. Now there's a line here. It's a little tricky to see, but it's there. So I'm going to I'm going to say. I want this to come in kind of quietly, and that's these drums. So I, I come back here a little bit, and then I come here, and I'm just turning the volume down to let the drums fade in quietly. Um, and then the next guy up, we'll close that one down, and I'll go over here, and this is the next one to come in, and I want it to come in quiet as well. So I'll just fade it a little bit, and it looks like this guy's coming in at the same time. So we'll give it a little bit of a fade. So now our elements are actually being introduced, not so abruptly, but you know, with a little subtlety. And there's a lot more that you can do to this, of course. This is just a real basic idea of how it can work for you. So let's hear it now with some automation added to it and the final arrangement set up.
it's a little smoother transition when you do it in a slightly automated way. So again, thanks for uh, joining me on the Bitwig Studio 2.3 course that I put together for you. Hopefully, uh, it's benefited a lot of you. I mean, I hope hopefully you've taken the time to follow through and uh, find the same samples and work through some of the same scenarios that I did here in the lessons. And, uh, you know, it's kind of getting you pointed in the right direction. And again, if you haven't, if it's for some reason the first time you've tuned into the Martini Lounge channel and you haven't subscribed, please take a minute to... Um, hit that subscribe button, the little bell, sign up, subscribe, share, like, thumbs up, all that good stuff, you know. If it's something that's been helping you, I'm happy. I'm excited to know that uh, I'm teaching somebody something. And by all means, uh, throw some feedback in the uh, comments below. If there's questions, concerns, or just uh, thanks, whatever it has to be. So let's um, chat amongst ourselves within the community. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for pushing play and peace. See you guys soon.